Where are we going? Below us. What for? We need more wood to build, so we can get some wood to build a trash can bin. The people have asked, and we have answered. Got to give the people what they want. Yes, and they want plans. <laughs> they don't give a shit about another video. <laughs> That's <great. laughs> But we're gonna give it to them anyways. <laughs> YouTube famous, don't you know? Yeah. 243 subscribers. 243. With thousands of view hours. <laughs> thousands. Thousands. Oh. And then. No. <laughs> no. We gotta pick out a hinge. There's too many choices. Should have thought about this beforehand. Not a hinge, a handle. Gotta pick out a handle. Difficult. We found a couple handles we like. Some black gnarled ones. And our black hinges. And our black hinges. We need, what did I say? The one by 12 by six. We need three. Make good choices. Physically pleasing. do this all with this Lowe's Project Source homeowner's tool set. 19 piece for $24. It's got your tape measure, your hammer, your screwdriver, the chingladera, and a work hole. And some, some skizzers. Some skizzers so you can cut the wood. That one's nasty. I don't like that one. Okay. Now you guys are going to have to remember what's being seen and what's not, so you need to pick out good wood selection. Uh, they have finished wood if you want. We have the joiner, we have the planer, so if anything too bad is seen, then we can just run it through one of those. But we're just trying to keep the cost down on this and still get nice pieces, which you guys know right now if you're doing any woodworking is impossible because it all looks like trash. Thirty-six by twelve and a quarter. Okay, that's what you have. Yeah. That one good. That'd be alright. We can make one. I know. Time and. Right. Don't break my don't break my birch plywood. There ain't many of those over there. All right, we are back at the shop. We're gonna start unloading all the wood. So we just got back from Lowe's. We spent about one hundred and seventy-five bucks. Yeah. Roughly. We did pick up some new wood chisels and a square so you can take that out. But we didn't buy any paint, stains, nails, screws, etc. Because that's all stuff we have at the shop. So I'd say probably around 175 is a good good price point to expect if you're not buying any tools and you are buying paints and stains and screws and all that. I would assume most of you have something of that laying around your shops. But uh, we're gonna get this wood inside, get it all laid out, and we'll work with you guys through that. Stick around. So we picked up four one by three by eights. And we picked up a edge glued panel 36 by 16. This will be our top piece that we'll get. We'll rip down to 12 and a quarter. We picked up three one by 12 six footers. These will be our edge, our sideboards. 
We'll use these for our shelves. And this will be our, uh, our base plate and our center divider as well. And we got one more board. And the final board is a one by two and four foot long and that's for the upper stretcher. All right, so we're gonna get started on the double trash can bin, shelf, storage, container, which I'm gonna call it doohickey. The thing you've been asking plans about. And I'm sure that most of you have already downloaded the plans and quit watching the video. But for those of you sticking around, here are the plans. Sorry about the dirty computer screen. So all we did on this set was just run through the different cuts. Nothing too fancy. We'll have a link to those plans in the description of this video. And we'll probably throw a link in the old video as well. We'll see but for sure in the description of this one. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting out our pieces and we're just gonna go through uh, from page one and on. So we're gonna take the top and that is a 36 by 12 and a quarter. And we bought a, an edge glued panel just for simplicity's sake. Uh, for timing, you know, we have enough here that we could have edge glued our own, ran it through the planer, got all that, but they sell these at Lowe's, already done. So uh, we got a 36 by 16. We're gonna just rip it down to 36 by 12 and a quarter. Dang, that was close, laser eyes. Close, close with no cigar. I didn't, you know. My you didn't brain, even my put brain, one? My brain was protected. <laughs> Your brain was protected. Good on you. You know what's cool is if you buy that 16 inch one, yeah. you can actually use this as one of the stretchers, Stret stretchers if you wanted. Just rip it down to whatever. Yeah. Or use the cross, just if you support. Save, like saving lumber, whatever. Or just have a good piece of scrap wood there. That's right. All right, so there's our top. Top is done. Top is done. Next thing is gonna be ripping our one by 12s down for the side pieces. We got two, the two sides, the bottom plate, and the center divider that we're gonna rip out of those right now. Good? Yep. 36. 36, 12 and a quarter. About 12 and a quarter, cool. So now we're gonna figure out which one we want for our sides. We know this one's out. Yes. That's a good looking piece. That's a good looking so piece on this side. Or well, this is getting painted either way. Right. So. Yeah, we can get two sides out of this because they're 29 and a half, I believe. That's good looking too. I like this one more. Yeah. Okay. All right. So next is gonna be the sides. 11, 11 and a quarter. Is that what that is right now? Oh, yeah, they're 11, yeah. They're, well, actually, these are a little bit, these are a little bit more shrunk than, but that's what it's supposed to be, is 11 and a quarter. Okay, well, a one by 12, that's yeah. as close as yeah. we're gonna get. 11 and a quarter, but we are gonna stick with our 29 and a quarter okay. for the two sides. 29 and a quarter. Next step, I'm just gonna do a clean edge. Uh, the factory edge is usually pretty rough and we'll measure off of that edge.
Camouflage. <laughs> no shit. right there. I see. You come in and, uh, what'd you say on this one? Uh, I need one at 34. Okay. And one at 26 and three quarters. Okay, let me cut. Clean edge first? Yeah, clean edge first, I think. So these are, you got what, bottom shelf? Bottom shelf and a and divider? And divider. Okay. So let's start here. Bottom shelf is what? 34. 34. Still using a one by twelve, so thirty-four by eleven and a quarter, okay. or as close as the factory will give us. Cut this down to 11 and a quarter, and then we'll half it. That'll be one of the sides for one of the shelves. 11 and a three quarter, or 11 and a quarter? 11 and a quarter. Did I say three quarter? I'll bet. No, I think you said a quarter. Okay. That's just making sure. Uh, I said split the difference. Yeah. Just run it right down the middle of that line. There you go. And we'll oh, just have to flip it. Huh? I said we'll, we'll run it this way. Yeah. And then we'll have to flip it. Yeah. Two of our shelf sides. One of the boards we picked up was like super bad, super warped. Uh, so we just pulled some some wood out of our scrap pile of this piece. But you get the idea. We're still using a one by twelve, three quarter inches thick. For the shelves? 11 and a quarter by uh, 16. Okay. Right? 16. Yeah. So you got one there, we got another one right here. Hey, you should put your protection on. I should. That's 16. Only, only if I had some. Yeah. Only if you had some. 16, so that's the base. 16 inches sits like that. The 45 sit on top. Yep. This will be our upper stretcher. Okay. 35.5.
Upper stretch for 35 and a half. Uh, so the upper stretch for 35 and a half. And then 35 and a half. 35 and a half for the lower stretcher. 35 yes, and a half for the lower stretcher. Okay. Okay. Out of that cutoff piece, we are. we're going to do the uh, top and bottom rails for the door. So I need four pieces. At a 12 and 5 eighths. Okay. Is that my lower stretcher? That's your lower stretcher? Okay. So four pieces at 12 and 5 eighths. Got that. That's four? Four. Okay. So we have, uh, I need four rear rear supports. These are the upper and lower rails of the doors. Oh, the doors, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure we got it out of that same board. Okay. Maximize our board cuts. I need four uh, rear supports at 16 and 5 eighths. Okay. That four of them? Yeah. Four rear stretchers at 16 and 5 eighths. Okay. Out of that same forward. Yeah. You need a 25 inch side rail. Okay. And then this one here. Yeah. Three more side rails, 25 okay. inches. 25 inches. I'll be right back. All right. plywood down. Okay. We're gonna rip it down 14 and 5 eighths by 22. All right, we're gonna switch up what I said a minute ago on the birch plywood. It's a quarter inch plywood. Is uh, I told you guys 14 and 5 eighths by 22. Uh, that's gonna be too much of an end cut, so I'm gonna change that. I'll fix it on the drawing too before we post this up. We're gonna go 13 and 5 eighths by 21. That'll give us a half inch cut into our frame all the way around. That'd be plenty. Cut from this edge over 13 and 5 eighths. Finding two of these. Why? For two panels. Oh, I should have grabbed two. That's my fault, dude. Oh, I fucked that up. Damn. Damn, Daniel. You guys see that board right there? That is the importance of letting Anthony keep all these wood scraps that he wants. That's right. See, we went to Lowe's and I picked up one of these project panel two by two plywoods. And how many did we need, Anthony? Two. Who screwed up? Possibly. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> 21 and then 13 and 5 eighths. I don't know why I was thinking just one insert for two doors, you know. <laughs> if we were doing a single door, that'd be perfect. That'll be the next one. 13 and 5 eighths. No. The only video you guys will ever get from us again yeah, is trash can bins. That's it. That's all we're doing. Yeah. Different trash can bins every day of the week. We're going to rename our channel the trash can bins. Trash cans by Sparky Built. That's right. right. So this is actually an extra piece because of the uh, the one by two that we got. Okay. So we can take that off the list. We only needed three of those, not four.
So get rid of it. So that was that was the last of the cuts, right? Yeah. So now we're on to the actual build. Start with the doors. So we do some more cutting, or, yeah, what, or do you want to do that? I was thinking about doing the. Go ahead and do the, the shell. Doing the yeah, the shell first. Okay. Get that out of the way. I'm gonna leave these here. We'll come back to them. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start with the frame. Start the with the frame. Shell, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's set these off to the side. This is our top and bottom stretcher. Yep. That's uh, the back stretchers. This is shelf. Okay. So that can go over here. Other shelf can go with it. Here's our two sides. Okay. And then here's the bottom and the center divider. Okay. okay. And that's your top. Okay. So how are we doing that? Pocket screws? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna work off the drawings on this one, just like you guys will be doing, just so we can make sure that every measurement we give you guys is right. Because I really, I think that's what took took us so long to get the plans out. Anthony's been working on them for a while, but we haven't had a chance to build another one of these. We've been busy with other projects, so we wanted to build one off of these plans, just to make sure that not only is it good on paper, it's good in the real world. Right? That's right. Basically, this is our bottom plate. These are our side plates here. And what we're looking for is on the front, we have the bottom stretcher and you want it flush. So if you're just gonna mount this to your side plates, you're gonna have about an inch and three quarters here. Let's give you two and a half to the top. But we'll have all those in the drawings for you guys. Right? Yep. Right. Right. You know, I almost bought one of those uh, T clamps yeah. when we were at Lowe's, yeah. and I'm kind of wishing I had, but I, I mean, we don't, it's not going to be necessary. So, okay. is this getting pocket screwed? Yes. Okay. So, we're going to do pocket screws on the inside of this? Yeah, on the inside of the boards. Okay. And then, so then what we'll do is, like you said, we will go ahead and get the pocket screw holes screwed into the bottom shelf, and then we'll clamp a, a piece of wood onto this yes. for a straight edge. Yeah. Hold that, one of us will hold it up there and pop screws in it. Okay. Sound good? Yep. We're about to blow your mind with the amount of pocket screws we put in these things. He knows. I'm not gonna put, Anthony Anthony finished up the drawings and I took, uh, I took his drawing in Fusion and I turned it into a PDF format for you guys, just a, a sketch. Uh, I'm not gonna put all the locations for all the screw holes I did lay out the dimensions for where the hinges land, but I'm not gonna tell you where to screw a hinge. I'm not gonna tell you where to put your handles. I mean, you guys, if you're building this, obviously you've got some experience on what you're doing and I don't need to baby you through it. So, but what we would like to see is some of y'all's finished products. So if you guys do get around to building this and you got one finished up, take a picture of it, leave it in the comments for us. We'd really like to see that, right? So ignore everything I said. Okay. Just cut it out. Just cut it out. I was so, on a roll. I thought I was getting somewhere. You were. Why can't you not comment the picture on there? It's Wouldn't that be cool as shit? It would be. I might have to do four. Okay. So you can go two here and two here. Okay. On either side of the knot. Yep. Okay. We set that up. It's been, it's been a while. I saw this meeting the other day. It was like, as a grown man, I cannot hear. It's been a while without thinking of getting that. And I was like, how freaking true is that? That song ruined an entire generation. Yes. Whether you listen to that music or not. So something we found last time that made it easier for us is that when you're putting the pocket screws in, then the boards want to shift on you, right? So what we did the last time is we came in and we put a straight edge. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark out where I want a straight edge. This is the inside of my board, right? And then I'm gonna clamp a straight edge in place. Just using a scrap piece that we had. 
now I can clamp my stuff, huh? All right, so we made our mark two and a half inches up. That way I'll be able to butt my bottom plate right up against this. We'll get the clamps on there on our straight edge. We'll hold our board up and then we'll triple check everything, right? What did we learn from the first one? I would say that this is probably the most important part, making sure that everything, everything is square. square, right? Right. So we're gonna check it. Two and a half, two and a half, half. So this is our other side piece. Set that over there. Now what we're gonna do is <laughs> oh oh that's your top okay we're gonna line this up on the edges Ooh. and what we're really focused on is our front edge so if the boards are not perfect then by all means do not make them like that okay. yeah if the boards aren't if the boards aren't perfect like this one here our bottom plate is what let's see here about a 16th to an eighth wider than our sideboard so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shift all that slack to the back because the back is open minus supports so you can either rip that 16th down or in this case like i said we're going to flush the front edge hold it up against our our support and then if you want like you saw anthony doing a second ago you can take your lower stretcher, check and make sure that you're good to go. Right? Right. Good talk. I'm gonna do this here. We're gonna flush it with that front edge. I'm gonna use this board just to triple check that. Okay. And then just hold it as square as you can, right? Yep. Ready? Alright. Front ends look okay. Front ends? Yeah, front end looks good. Okay. It'll hold, I promise. There we go. Alright. Put it down like this. Yeah. That way it'll be easier to make sure that front front edge is flush. Is that the front end? That's the back. Okay. Straight edge. Back. So that's going in. That's going to be my front edge. I might just take and set it like that. Okay. Set this one down on top of it. Okay. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, okay. Just for simplicity's sake, right? Turn it down. There you go. Now this is my front edge, right? Yeah. Over here on your, on your right, on my right. Okay, just make sure we line up the same. Just. <laughs> Our table here is not the most square, so you have to play pretend with us. So we've got our sides pocket screwed onto the base. Yeah. We're gonna put in the bottom stretcher. Yes. The top stretcher. Top stretcher. The Center. center divider center divider and, and then the rear top. supports yes oh, right on. yeah we'll do rear supports rear supports and then the top yes and then after that the shell will be done that's it so after that we can build the doors we can build the shelves we can build the whole cabinet let's get it done so what are we doing here we uh stapling let's flip this there's not better on the other side oh i can you want to do this side? Yeah, we'll do okay. that side because I can. Yeah, I, I, I sat there flipping over and over and over. Put just two in the end, right? For now. Psh, psh. Uh -oh. All right. Down. Down. 
last one. Go ahead. Ready? I like this nail gun. Yes. If you guys don't have one of these, you need one. We use it on pretty much every freaking wood project that we're doing. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do while he's figuring out how we're gonna screw that in is I'm gonna mark out the center. It goes dead center, right? Right. So we're gonna mark out the center, minus three eighths will give us an edge. So center, that's 34 inches, center is 17 inches, minus three eighths, so 16 and five eighths is what we're gonna do here. 16 and 5 eighths is our center mark is our edge our edge so we should be able to just put this guy oh okay I need to stick a uh, grab one of these like that see what I'm saying yeah. Good? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know about that cool trick. Shot the first one just up here, eyeballing it. And then you can just hold your square up there. Run the rest of them in so you don't have to sit there and draw a line, right? I think now we need to stand this thing up. Put this nail up in the front, huh? No most lefties. Ready? Good? Yep. There's the top stretchers across the back, top supports. Now we're gonna put in the middle supports, right? Right. And then, uh, let me make a note of This is our shelf. Shelf, minus the top. We've got bottom shelf, middle support, middle stretcher. Center divider. Center divider. Upper stretcher, one by two. Lower stretcher, one by three. Rear supports, one by threes. One by twelves. And then we're gonna put our top on. Ready to put the top on? I, let me put a couple pocket holes on this center divider. And we will okay. put the top on. Good news is it's pretty flat. Yeah. I know which one I'm thinking for the top. You tell me which one you're thinking. That one. Yep. It's there. Yeah, there ain't no, it ain't flexing or none of that nonsense. So now we should be able to flush the back edge, right? Right. And that should give us about, or not about, but that should give us a quarter inch gap. So we flush the back edge. We got our outside lined up where we want. We're gonna put the screws in that, and then we're gonna push in on our center divider because it's just a little bit off square from where we want it, but that's just the wood that we're working with. Hopefully you guys get some better stuff than what we have. So that's the shell. Shell's ready to go. And we're going to move on to the doors and then we'll do the trash can, the shelves for the trash cans. So does this get a round over or something? I just, what I did on the last one, I just took a stained sandpaper and just rounded the edge. You're going to have to hit that pretty good. Yeah. Let's probably move back over to the table saw now, right? Yeah. So for the doors, we've got our top rails. Oh, let me get back over here where you guys can see me. We have our top rails and our side rails that we cut out earlier, and we have our inserts. So now we're gonna move over to the table, table saw, and we're gonna set it up and rip out the slot for our inserts to slide into. Once we do that, then we can slide it all together 
nail it, glue it, screw it, whatever we're gonna do, they'll be good to go. Out with these. So if you were gonna dismount the panel over, you could use pocket screws, but we chose not to do that because we are pure officials. Are we though? So we don't need these pocket screws. Right? All right. That's right there. There's this insert. Make that the front. Too cool, man. Too cool. <laughs> That's hard. Huh? As I will figure it out. It'll all just be zoomed in. Just glue going. Holy Moses. I think these handles are gonna or these uh, handles are gonna look pretty cool on here. Yeah. Five eighths. We're five eighths. I think that's a great idea. What's that? Oh. Well. Does it matter? So while he's doing that, I'm going to do the same that I did earlier. I'm going to take a straight edge. I'm gonna make a line on here, take a straight edge, and clamp it down. So when we go to do the pocket tape, they'll be hidden, or it'll uh, it'll be up against that screw. And I couldn't hear a damn word they were saying. They talked for like an hour, and I stood stood there nodding my head. So that's two outside, pieces, two left pieces, and I need two right pieces. So here again, the most important part is going to be making sure that you flush your front edge up with the front of your board because that's where your door is going to hit, right? Correct. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so that goes like that. And then we'll go somewhere in there, just like that. And we're done. That's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. Three sixteenths off of each board. By the end of the year, we'll have saved. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. We got both doors glued up and we got the cabinet itself ready to be sanded and painted. It's the back side. And then here is where your trash cans go. And this will actually tilt out with the door. So we got both of those supports made. And tomorrow we will screw these and glue these onto the doors and get the doors hinged up and we'll be ready to go. If you have any questions about the uh, trash can bin or about the plans, just feel free to leave a comment in the, leave a comment in the comments below. The next day. So right now Josh is just in, uh, marking out the hinges. The dimensions are laid out on the uh, on the drawings on that bottom runner. But basically if you want to grab your door, figure out where your fronts are, come in three inches on either side, and then you'll be good to go. So that's my this is my front inside here, and we're gonna set these hinges up. like so. So I like to make my lines. Draw my circles. 
and I use I use that little barrel. I just turn it around to draw my circles because it helps keep it straight, no guessing. And then I'll pre-drill these and run them in by hand. From there, we go seven and five eighths, and then another two inches right there. So that's where our two hinges are going for that particular hinge. Right at about five eighths of an inch. Crazy the difference in the hut. Uh, a good uh, chisel. Yeah. <laughs> you like my balancing trick there? That side is even better. Good camera. Why must you treat me this way? <laughs> you have a beautiful scene, boy. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right, all right, all right. Handles are on, so we just need to put the shelves on now. So on the shelf, we put a little spacer in here, and so we're gonna space it out, and then we're just gonna center it with the door, or with the space, and then we'll make a mark and screw them in. Like that? All right, and then what, what were my measurements? Uh, it should be a, it was about an inch and sixteenth. Here? Yep. Yep. And then it was nine sixteenths. On this side? Yep. Okay. Why would you do the door, the uh, shelf off center there? On the door? Oh, well, so we had to do the, the shelf off centered on the door because if we didn't, it would hit, it, we wouldn't have enough clearance on the cabinet. Does that make sense? Yep. Because this is fully on the door and this side, it splits. It that. splits the middle, correct. Right. So, trash can. Bada bing. Bada bing. There you go, just like that. And it's got that back, the back support, it, you know, so it's not gonna fall off the back, even if you, you know, even if you slammed it, but it. All right, it'll work. I like it, man. Let's set it down. Later that evening. All right, so finished the cabinet up. We got it sanded. And tell you what, it really turned out good. I think it turned out better than the first one we did. Holds a 40 quart trash can. I picked up from Lowe's. And obviously two of those. And you can also get that trash can from Home Depot. And I tell you what, with Josh's help, we were able to get it dialed in, squared up, and just all the dimensions and, and uh, just for the drawings, uh, we got it dialed in, and we're yep. going to have those plans in the link below. And what do you got? I'm super happy with the way this one turned out. Like you said, I think this one did turn out better than the first. Uh, if there's anything you guys got, You'd like to see us build, not quite sure how to do it, want some plans, something like that, 
leave it in the comments below for us and we'll see what we can do for you guys. We appreciate you guys sticking around with us for another video and we'll see you next time. Thank you.